Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Wheels with Panos. I'm Matt. We are reacting to episode 7 of Demon Slayer season 4. Mm -hmm. In the last episode we saw Tanjiro training with the Stone Ashura. Mm -hmm. Zenitsu and Inosuke were also there. Mm -hmm. And Tanjiro. And Tanjiro. Pushed the boulder at the end. Yes. And we also saw Genya briefly uh, appear as well. They had a bit of a, a chat. Um, this is an extra long episode. Mm -hmm. Episode on Nana. Let's go. Let's go. We're in the forest. Oh, ah, message. That is Zenitsu's bird, no? I, yeah, I think so, no? Look at those veins popping. Look at the animation. Exactly, it's like your whole body. You need to use your whole body. He knows he's like, what is going mm. on? Gampachiro. Tempura? He will push it as well. Stop it. <laughs> that is crazy. Come on, Zenitsu. Fall asleep. Zenitsu needs to fall asleep. Juntaro! <laughs> okay, now he's like in a... Wow, look how far that he is pushed it. Press. <laughs> uh. <laughs> My god, this is hilarious. Look at him. He needs food, he needs to recover. What do you mean you're gonna die? Somebody bring me water. What's this? Is it the stone Hashira? There you go. Why is he crying? He <laughs> <laughs> made the right choice what did he do? Never mind. Oh, he left his sister behind. Oh, I hope they don't betray him or anything. Oh, oh that's cute. Oh. Nice to see him smile. So how old was he here? What does she want to put? So no, you need to eat a good smoothie. What happened? Oh, they're going to be attacked or something. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. <gasps> so he's deactivated. Why would you do to that? To save himself! 
Who this is this? is crazy. Who is this? Yeah. No. No. Oh no. No. さらにはメモ見えぬような大人は。Do you think that's where that he got the scar from as well? Yeah. Yes. Wow, he's strong. This is uh, similar to what uh, thing went through, no? Um, Tokito. You know, when his brother mm. and him, they were attacked and he went into this berserk mode, you mm. know, it's like... <gasps> no, what did she say? So they thought he... What? What? Yeah. They put him into pray a prison. Mm. What? Well, I wouldn't trust anybody either after this. Look how big his hand is. Look how small it is. It's hilarious. <laughs> this is so sad. I want to know who that boy is. That, that first crazy. boy who led the demon to them. That was just crazy. He didn't just let them to it, to it. he also removed the, the wisteria. Yeah. That was crazy. Didn't even betray only him, but all the other children as well. Oh, he knows. Yeah, he knows. Where is Zenitsu? Yeah, I mean, he got the letter, but then we never yeah. saw what was in it. Is he gone? Where is he? <笑><笑>いいなそうか。Bottom feeder. No, oh, you need to work together. Oh, that's so sad. What's going on? Like he's completely changed. Yeah, it's like a different persona, person, right? Arigato. What's going on? Kore wa dettai ni ore ga yara nakya dame nanda. What? And where did the blood come from? Did he have blood? Ah, oh, this looks beautiful. What's going on with Zenitsu? Zenitsu. Also, look at the scar, it's permanent now. Hmm. Oh. Oh. 
Ripper fast curve. I mean, the names of the attacks are just. <laughs> 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 this is hilarious. He is gonna lose it. <laughs> He's getting upset. Oh, poor Tanjiro. He doesn't deserve that. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> we can become good friends. Hilarious. <laughs> Someone spying on him? I think so. Look at those eyes, no? Or maybe a demon. Yeah, there you go. Stop it. He just caught one! No. <gasps> oh my god. So they know oh, where the base more. is. Oh, who's coming? Yeah. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. Shit is about to go down. <gasps> no! Muzan is there? He is there? How did they reach this so far? So, so quick? He's like, I'm gonna come in now. But I thought they're also protected by, by Wisteria, no? Where's the Wisteria? It might be not here. This looks incredible. They have done a very good job here. You don't need the Master is here, right? Like all the, <clears throat> all the Ashuras are like... Yeah, I'm assuming. I don't know the full architecture. Oh? Uh -huh. This was a longer episode? It didn't feel longer. You are joking. Oh no, there is a look. This is literally the outro. This is crazy. No. You can probably feel that he's close, right? Way to make an entrance. Well, like also extra long episode because Muzan walks very slow. What's he got? What? I don't understand though. This is such a crazy move, no? Wow. Also, Muzan is someone that has no patience, but sure, a lot of patience has been used here for him to walk <laughs> as slow as he is. Wow, what a moment. What a moment. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is it? No. 
ここで大将こそこそ噂話品津川さんの趣味はカブトムシを育てることおはぎまたおはぎの話だと次回最終は柱決球The Hashra Unite Are they gonna fight him? Who's him? Mm. Oh my god. Can't imagine it's too early now. Is it though? Look. Look where we are. Episode Nana. <laughs> what do you think? <gasps> episode. Uh, fun episode, but it was a sad, sad episode. episode. Had to tear Like up. that backstory of the Stone Hashua. Heartbreaking. So the, the kids didn't trust him. Before we go to the kids who didn't trust him. There is one kid that broke yeah. the rule. And then in order to save himself, he said, you can kill everybody at the temple. Just don't kill me. Which is crazy. Which is like, wild. Like, which is wild. It seemed like they were like a family, you know. Like, well, not really though, right? Not really a family. No, a chosen like a, family. Chosen family. Right? Yeah. And why would you... Crazy. But then also the other kids didn't trust him because he was frail, he was blind, and well, they just ran. He didn't look frail to me. But... No, but if you compare it to now, he, he looked skinnier and um, not as tall. And obviously, probably, probably also thought, oh, he's blind. What can he do against the demon? Yeah. But then the girl, Sayo, to say that it was him who killed everybody, that I thought was just crazy. Yeah. That was the craziest the betrayal. I can kind of understand the other children running like, away. You know, the children, yeah. they're scared. Yeah, panic. In the moment, you don't think. No. Right? You just, you want to run. Yeah, panic mode. So, fair enough. But then the little girl, like, saying to lie. he was the one who killed everybody. Yeah. I mean, you can't be that confused. Yeah, I thought, girl, where were you? In a different movie. She was, she was like, anyway. And then they, they. And then they imprisoned him. Yeah. Because obviously. <clears throat> they didn't find a body. Like the demon was obviously disappeared. So, very very sad backstory. Yeah. Um, I mean, backstory. But we we also didn't really find out a lot about him uh, because we also don't know how he ended up there. Yeah. We just know that he was protecting children at a temple. It would have been nice to see what what happened to maybe his family and stuff. But I guess, yeah, it's interesting to see how how they all have this sort of experience when they're younger near-death experience mm -hmm. that really shapes them you know yeah. also here he killed a demon with his bare hands you know and he said only then did he realize actually that he has a strong body mm. right and that he and he never thought about it before yeah and maybe he would have never used it in this way so then obviously also when he was in prison then um the way Shiki found him. Yeah, he came and uh, saved him. Saved him, you know. So, yeah. Uh, I also like the fact that they had this intimate, personal moment, him and, and Tanjiro, mm -hmm. where he actually acknowledges him, and obviously, you know, he speaks about the swords in the village, but then he also sp just speaks about him in general. Yeah. You know, so I thought that was a very nice moment, and. Um, it just really shows you how Tanjiro is building those relationships. Not with all of them. Obviously, Shinozugawa hates him. <laughs> and with Gyu, it took a minute to warm up. Mm -hmm. But really, he builds he builds those relationships step by step. And ultimately, that's what he needs, right? He needs to have this group that supports him yeah. for the ultimate battle. Um, what is going on with Zenitsu? So we saw... Obviously, it was his birds yes, arriving, right? With, with a letter. letter. So, so we saw it in the comments. Uh, I think two of you said it and said, "Oh, Zenitsu won't be the same after this episode." Oh, what does it mean? And what did the letter say? It's, I mean, no spoilers. Please in the comments. No, but, but what? Like, but what's I'm going guessing on? maybe it has something to do with his grandfather. Yeah, something like from it's where from he, where he's from, like something with his village. Or like his grandfather, because he was the one who trained him, right? His grandfather was a Hashira as well, no? Was his grandfather not a Thunder Hashira or something? Or a Lightning Hashira? There was someone, no, in the village who trained him. Was the, but I'm was, not sure if it was his wasn't grandfather. Wasn't that the grandfather? 
I mean, that's, that's a while ago. That was season one where we found out more about him, no? And he used to have black hair as well, no? Yeah, and then he was hit by a light. By a light, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he t- his hair turned yellow-orange. Mm. Um, but it almost sounded like when he was speaking to Tanjiro, he's like, oh, this is something I need to, I do. Need to do. So looks like he's going to go on a mission <gasps> by himself. It breaks my heart. Especially because we know it's slowly coming to an end. Yeah. You know? Anyway, um, and um, as annoying as he sometimes is with all the screaming and stuff, but if he completely loses that and is like suddenly a diff- different person, like this serious person, yeah, it's, it's a I'm bit like, sad, you know? No, but I was also thinking, okay, he's not okay. Something yeah. is going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, do you, you remember season one when we were watching season one and it was the first few episodes when he appeared and he was just screaming nonstop and I said to you, oh my God. How annoying. I don't think I can watch these anime, uh, th- this anime because this character is yeah. driving me crazy. But now in hindsight, I'm like, um, Demon Slayer wouldn't be the same without him. No? Yeah. So, and then we have a beautiful fight between the water Ashura and, um, and the wind Ashura where yeah. we see some, some cool uh, attacks. I, I have to say, though, I, I love it when Shinazugawa attacks because he attacks first and then announces the attack. <laughs> right? But... Usually they yeah, they announce the attacks. The um, <laughs> they announce the attacks, and we were talking about it in Kaiju number eight. No, was it episode eight when uh, oh, yeah. Hoshina is fighting Kaiju number ten? Yes. And then Kaiju number ten knows he's coming because he announces the attack. <laughs> <laughs> so always attack first. Yeah. And then once you kill them, you then announce. you announce it after. <laughs> um. And then of course this joke with what was it the red bean mochi? mochi. Yes. Um. Well, he has a good nose. He always he can smell everything. Yes. But then Shinazugawa catches an eye in the darkness. Yes. That was Goosebumps moment, and then the ultimate moment, Muzan appears. He, I mean, what, took, a, what a move! Like crazy. Why now? Why? Why is he going for the leader? The leader, the, the master. master. Now, if he's about to die anyway. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It wouldn't make sense to kill him because he is gonna die, right? Why? And he's cursed, so why kill him if he if he suffers? Maybe, anyway? or maybe he's not gonna kill him. Maybe he's just threatening him and saying, like, listen, we have all our eyes everywhere. everywhere. We know where all the demon core is. Mm. Just give um, me a go. Give me Nezuko. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill everybody. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe. So maybe he's gonna do a threat or something like a bargaining deal. Yeah. Give me the girl and everybody can live. Or keep the girl and everybody will die. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> That's but I loved how like how calm they they were. Right? I mean he can't move anyway, like no. he, he was just laying there, but like she, the, leave him. she was just by his side, you know, not moving. I would have expected a little more though, but I mean, it took him ten minutes <laughs> they to took arrive. Him, yeah, in slow motion. They just were just showing it in slow motion. Extra to long make episode. The scene every, extra long. Exactly. No? Extra long episode. Eleven minutes of arrival, <laughs> and walking and walking and walking. <laughs> um, and that mist around him that looked really cool. It almost looked like he's breaking through a spell or something. You know, very yeah. slowly. It looked very cool. I was actually job. thinking that for a second. Yeah, I thought so. I was too. like, oh, this like smog, whatever. Maybe it's like a barrier he's breaching. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, creative freedom. They can do whatever they want. Uh, I kid you not, I'm super excited for um, Genshin Impact. Because UFO, UFO Table is, is doing Genshin Impact oh. now. I, I wonder uh, what they're going to do there and how yeah. they're going to transform it. Sure. But anyway, this is Demon Slayer. This was episode oh, seven. seven. Can you believe it? Next week is the finale of Kaiju and Demon Slayer. Big weekend ahead. Big weekend ahead. With that said, please put down in the comments... Any animes you think we should watch next, because we have two slots opening up, um, please put them down below. We're going to go through the list. We have some ideas as well, but we want to hear from you what you want us to watch. And then we're also going to do a poll and take it from there. So we'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.